Welcome to this episode of Outside Fun, where I'm in desperate need of some shelter. Well, I'm not really in desperate need of shelter, but as I was hiking along with my brother, I recalled a recent conversation that I had with a friend of mine. She is older now, but when she was a young girl, she used to live out in the country. She told me that she would spend entire days hiking deep into the bush. Her only companion was her dog, who faithfully came along on every adventure into the forgotten regions of the forest. She said that there were many times that the weather would turn harsh and she would be stranded out in it. Sometimes it was a torrential downpour, occasionally a hailstorm, or a blinding snowstorm. It all depended on the time of year. Most people dread being caught outside in such conditions, but this wasn't anything out of the ordinary for my friend. She didn't carry matches or a knife, but she did have a plan for this sort of thing. She would find a thick spruce or pine tree and crawl in underneath its protective skirt of tightly knitted evergreen branches and wait out the storm. Although the snow was deep, there was barely uh, any snow underneath the tree. Sometimes she would find a large tree that had fallen over in a previous storm and crawl in underneath its big roots, where the earth had been peeled away and hollowed out underneath. These places make a perfect spot for emergency shelters. And although the weather was cold, she wore a good snowsuit, and she would curl up with her big shaggy dog for warmth. And in doing this, she was quite content to wait out nature's onslaught. Actually, she admits that she even enjoyed these moments. It was like she was in her own little house, completely sheltered from the elements. And so, whenever I come across a thick, evergreen, or a fallen tree with a hollow underneath its roots, I think of her and her big shaggy dog. The truth is that there are times when you can know all the survival techniques in the world, how to build a fire, how to construct any type of shelter, uh, even the types of equipment to carry, etc. But sometimes everything is just soaked. Your flint isn't working, you don't have time to build a proper shelter, and you didn't bring your tarp. There are just times when you need immediate shelter. This is why it's important to know how to read the land. Make mental notes as you walk. Do you see a pile of snow or soil that looks out of place in an ordinarily flat forest? You just might be looking at a mound of torn roots and heaped earth. A perfect emergency shelter. Keep your eyes peeled for those thick evergreens, fallen trees, or uh, crevices in the sides of rock faces. You never know when they might come in handy. Just remember, the best survival tool you can possess is awareness. Do you have a story of when you needed emergency shelter, or perhaps a fond memory of long days in the great outdoors? Share it in the comments. I and all the other fellow outsiders would love to hear it. And if you liked today's episode, anything to do with survival, wild edibles, or log cabins, then feel free to subscribe. I am The Outsider, and I want to thank you for watching.